Hi, this is Mark, KD2, KWS. I'm going to be um, setting up the Pi Star for the uh, ICOM ID51A uh, Plus 2. This is to use in terminal mode with the, uh, with the adapter, the OPC2550 um, adapter. Um, to interface between the radio and, and the Raspberry Pi, um, I hit some issue, had some issues with this uh, setting up yesterday, and one I believe to be a software glitch, and then there was another issue that that required the uh, the new Pi Star update, and I've read online that some people have had some issues with that, so hopefully this is going to cover all that. Uh, when I initially set this up, I used 132 disk imager. So you should already have your um, Pi Star image uh, d downloaded from the Pi Star website, uh, and this is the 3.4.17. And later, you're also going to need the the, the 4.1 version. But uh, we're going to go ahead and image this um, to the micro SD. Um, make sure that you have formatted your micro SD card, even if it's brand new, format it. Um, this one's already been formatted, but I'm going to format it again. And I'm going to go ahead and start the uh, uh, start start burning the the image to the micro SD. Uh, select it from your saved desktop files if that's where you saved it to. I usually keep everything there that I'm going to be working with. And uh, we're going to write that bad boy. Okay, when the, uh, now that the image has been uh, written to the uh, micro USB, remove that and put that into the Pi, the Raspberry Pi. And that's going to take a, just a little while to boot up um, and when it boots up what's going to happen is you're going to look in he here into your wireless networks and you will see Pi Star um, set up as a wireless network and we're going to select that and, uh, and log directly into the Raspberry Pi using that so I'm just going to wait on this to boot up it, it, it's, it does take a few minutes it doesn't just pop right up there so stand by go grab a cup of coffee or uh, I'll grab something to eat and come back and it'll should be done by then. Okay, so once your uh, your Pi is done booting, you should be able to come down here to your wireless networks and select Pi Star Setup. Password is going to be Raspberry R A S P B E R R Y. Yes. And once that connects, you're going to want to open your browser and go to http double dot backslash backslash pi dash star dot local. Enter. It's going to bring you here, and then it will automatically uh, redirect you to another page. Username is going to be pi dash star. Same password r a s p b e r r y, all lowercase. And it should bring you up to this screen. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to scroll down to wireless configuration, go to configure Wi-Fi, scan for networks, and it will take a few seconds.
and then click on the wireless network you want to use. Enter the password. Oops. Save and connect. Now we want to go to power. Reboot. And when this reboots, it should log on to your wireless network. Um, and you also will need to log off of the Pi Star setup. You see it just disappeared because it's rebooting. And log on to your local uh, log on to your network usually I could just press enter here and then uh, log back onto the same page or you could type in the uh, HTTP double dot backslash backslash pi dash star dot local again if it doesn't uh, let you log back onto this page the right way or, or just by refreshing the tab. So we'll go to uh, configuration and go to D star repeater. It's going to tell you that it's going to need um, to reset after those changes. So we'll hit apply changes. The fortunate thing about this is it actually does reboot pretty quickly. Um, Okay, and then I'm going to go to power, reboot. Just give it a few seconds and then, uh, Done it. There it goes. Okay. Next, you want to do is you want to come down to uh, general configuration. You want to change and uh, put your call sign in. KD2 KWS. I use public. Apply changes. which brings me to where I was stuck the first time. So, if you're using the ICOM uh, ID51, uh, to use it in terminal mode, you have to use the uh, cord that it, that it came with. And you plug your radio in, turn it on, uh, and put it in terminal uh, or access point mode, or sorry. Um, yeah, terminal mode or access point mode, but we're going to use terminal mode for this one. So, I set my radio in terminal mode. The Pi Star should see uh, the radio, and you should see ICOM, uh, and it should say terminal up here. And, and there's no selection for that. It's just not here. Uh, and I've tried to, tried rebooting. Um, I went to the up, update up here. It tried to update it that way. It's um, practically pulling my hair out over this. And um, to, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, simply, it, it was just it needed to be updated to the newest uh, 4.1 version. So, um, 
you're going to want to do is you want to go to Backup Restore, go to Download Configuration File, and this is if, if you were stuck at that point yourself. Um, go to Save File, now that that file is saved, I'm going to shut this thing down. Power off the Pi. Take your micro SD card out. Put it back in the laptop. And for this, I used Etcher. Now, when I tried to do this all over again, I tried to use Etcher for both the initial inst uh, the initial uh, image and also for the upgrade image. And for, for whatever reason, I kept having issues with it and couldn't get it to work. Um, I'm sure there's a way to do it, but I, I, I kept having problems. It wouldn't let me log into the Pi the set, uh, after uh, imaging the, the 4.1 software. So, I'm going to open Etcher here. We'll go to select image. Select the, where is that, uh, 4.1 open it's already got our uh, USB drive saved or selected there and we're gonna hit flash and hit select yes here and you just wait for it to, uh, to image the SD card okay so now that that's um, done flashing what you want to do is and, and also sometimes after it's done flashing uh, you won't see the drive down here you may have to take it out of the computer and put it back in um, and you can see it pops up down there. Now what we need to do is we need to take the PyStar config file that we saved a few minutes ago before we shut down our Pi. And that bad boy needs to go right here. You got to drop it right in there. And see, there it is. Okay, and then we're going to take that and eject it and when we put that in it should have it should carry all of our settings over from our um, from our last version including the Wi-Fi settings so we'll have to go through all that again so we're going to take that take the uh, SD card put it back into the Pi give it some juice and let that thing boot up. And once that is booted up, um, if you give it a few minutes, you know, give it a good two minutes. Uh, open your browser up. H. You'll see that it brings you here, and you can look up the top right corner. It says Pi Star version 4.1.0. So we may have to enter this password again, pi-star raspberry. Okay, welcome to part two of where I got hung up at. So, I'm going to connect my ICOM. And if you will look down here in the drop downs, you will now see the ICOM radio in terminal mode is now available. And we can uh, select that in our menu options. Go to admin. And if you see here where it says D star Peter repeater, that tab needs to be green. And you can see it's not green here. And I spent hours and hours trying to go through this setup, trying to figure out what it was that I did wrong. Um, and the reason why I, I did this setup this way 
is because this is the way exactly the way that I did it the first time and I hit this issue and I, I, I just could not figure it out and you can see that um, the link is up but I'm not hearing anything on my radio and I mean I must have went through these settings a million times unfortunately what the fix for this is is the factory reset and when we go to factory reset fortunately it keeps all the Wi-Fi settings uh, and, it, and it will bring us back to version 4.1 only thing that you're going to have to do is enter your call sign again um, and, and a couple other small settings and I've still got my radio connected uh, next to me um, so I'm going to go to D star repeater like that. Apply changes. And then after uh, it applies that change, you do want to reboot again. So we're going to go to power or reboot. Give that a few seconds. After it reboots, go back down here, change your call. KD2 KMS. Going to select terminal mode. The public mode. Apply changes. And you can see that it just connected to the uh, to the reflector. And if we go back over here into the admin page, you can see that that selection is now lit up. And guys, when I tell you, I, I, I spent hours on this yesterday over over uh, something as simple as a factory reset. Um, I, I know that there's other people hung up on this. I'm not a professional uh, YouTuber. I don't make these videos for a living. Uh, just hope, hopefully this helps somebody out. Um, other than that, like I said, I'm using the uh, the OPC2350 um, programming cable with the ICOM ID51 uh, in, in terminal mode. Uh, if anybody has any questions, uh, feel free to reach out to me at my call sign. Uh, I'm good on QRZ. Shoot me an email or, or leave a comment. Hope you guys have a great day. 73s, KD2, KWS.